there is a multiplayer mod available for the Nintendo 64 version of Super Mario 64 that allows you to play with up to 23 other people. And it also introduces characters like Waluigi into the game. This is just crazy. Have you seen this multiplayer mod? No, I haven't heard of it at all, honestly. Dude, it is... Uh, just look for, like, Super Mario 64 multiplayer. I mean, it, on YouTube. It's insane. Um, the, the craziness with this. And you can play as Princess Peach, and you can play as Wario, and uh, Luigi, and Toad. And it's just so crazy, you know? Like... Mm. Why? Why is there a multiplayer mod for Mario 64? That's one thing that kind of gets me. A lot of people go and they they praise mods and things like that, which, you know, I'm all for. I'm all about trying to extend a game's life, for sure. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, some some it just seems like some of these things are just like experiments and things that they do, and they're seeing probably trying to see how far they can actually take the technology or they want to try to do what they can with it just to see if they can break it or something. I, I don't know. It, it just it kind of it comes to mind. I'm like... You know, especially when you're doing it with a Nintendo property, like you mentioned before, Nintendo's probably going to shut it down when they get word of it, which they probably already have. But at the same time, it's just like, man, some people just come up with some of the strangest things to be able to put into mm -hmm. a game that gets some, that gets such a large amount of attention. Like some, like say for example, some really weird mods and say Skyrim or Fallout 4 or something like that. It's just, and so, some of them just get so much attention, but they're just the strangest things. And I guess that's kind of one of the one of these these things in a way in a way when mario 64 came out it kind of had somewhat of an open worldish aspect to it at least at that point in time and i mean yeah you had your loading screens and whatnot when you were going to different areas but i really don't know i'll have to look up some video footage of this because i've honestly never heard of this until now yeah now if i remember right i know super mario 64 ds you can play as multiple characters like, you had Wario and Luigi and uh, Yoshi that you could play as in that. But mm. I don't think that that had multiplayer, did it? Um, oh, it did. No, oh, it did. No, yeah. did it? Yeah, apparently okay. it did have a multiplayer. I guess um, I guess it's not like what we would expect as multiplayer out of it, though. I guess it worked differently. So, that, that's kind of weird, but... But yeah, I guess that's really interesting still. But this is like the actual legit Mario 64, where you can play with up to 23 other people. Exactly. And uh, that's really, that's just so chaotic, you know? <laughs> yeah, it seems like it would be. It seems like a lot of people would be jumping on each like, other. Like, like, like would, everybody, would everybody have their own camera? Or is it like one camera and, every, and you have the 24 players running around in that zone? That's That would be chaotic. Yeah, that would be crazy. Uh, I guess you could say maybe if you do it in certain areas of the game, you can kind of have like a weird semi-impromptu Smash Brothers in 3D kind of thing yeah, going on. But... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's the idea behind this, but uh, that's still really interesting. Um, but let's talk about some things that are not interesting. Subscribe to the DPNE on the iTunes. Do now! Get to the chopper! Get cookie down now!